Monday, September 15th. It's about almost 7 o'clock at night. Uh, came in today, we got some lumber delivered. Uh, we started, we put down our sills around the house in preparation for the panels to come tomorrow. All the structural insulated panels are going to be arriving tomorrow morning between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And uh, we should have some walls up tomorrow afternoon. So, uh, that's where we're at. It was uh, kind of a prep day. Uh, just seeing how the slab worked out. Putting all our sills down, sill seal and stuff around the edges. Uh, with all those uh, anchor bolts required by the engineer. 107 of them in the building. Uh, two holes for each. Uh, so we had to drill a mark in a lot of holes to get those sills attached down today. So um, that's where we're at. And we'll uh, check back tomorrow when the panels show up. Tuesday, September 16th, uh, slacked a little bit in the videotaping and working real hard. We got all the sills down yesterday. Uh, you can see all my panels showed up today. Those are my structural insulated panels for the house. Uh, they showed up about 1.30, 2 o'clock. We got, uh, well, we got about 100 feet of wall up today. Came about 30 feet across the front, 20 feet across the back on this side. 20 feet there and uh, 26 feet there. So uh, we got some of the panels up today from 2 o'clock till uh, I'll sit a little after 6. Uh, we should have all the wall panels up tomorrow. We'll see a couple of big gables. You can see all these panels stacked up here. All wrapped up in plastic. That's how they get delivered. These panels right here. Wednesday afternoon, September 17th, just about lunchtime. I runs in here preparing this front for these windows to come in. Mike's finished up a few panels. Finish up those corners, get the front wall, we just gotta drop some headers in. Uh, but we're uh, making good progress. Uh, less than about well, six, seven hours into this project so far, and almost half the wall's up. So, doing all right. Uh, check back. All right, so uh, Thursday afternoon, 120. We got just about 16 hours into building here. You can see we got all the panels on, those are our front windows. We gotta put headers above that. Uh, we're putting a header above here. There's a special window. We're going to tie in a gable on this end to match that one. Uh, these windows here are framed out for our custom windows, and then this is all done as well. So, uh, two days, about 16 hours of labor. That's where we're at. Uh, we should have that close to having that other gable on today. Start building our barren petitions and get ready to put our uh, ceiling panels on. So, Thursday, uh, September 18th, 4.42 in the afternoon. Uh, we got about 18 hours into this so far. You can see what we got done. We got all the exterior walls up, including some headers over these windows here. Uh, these are our special windows. We're set up with staging to put the other gable up tomorrow morning. We got this red gable up. Uh, these guys are going around finishing putting in the double top plate around the perimeter of the building. Uh, these walls are incredibly strong and straight. Uh, even before you put the uh, plates in the wall you can barely move these things so once you put a double plate in there and lap them properly uh, nail them properly then this is uh, incredibly strong and straight walls so, uh, we had a little change today uh, homeowner came in decided to make her master bedroom a little larger and eliminate actually a bedroom in the house uh, so we're going to create about a 12 foot by uh, 26 foot master bedroom um, with plenty of closet space and um, it's definitely increased Still kept it at a three bedroom from a four bedroom, but it definitely gave a beautiful master bedroom. You'll have this south window uh, in the master bedroom, in the master suite, along with that north window way over there. This, so, uh, what you see here, these two front here, there's actually another double going in there. This is going to be our special thermal mask window. Uh, there's two of those going in this section, and then we have uh, uh, three going along this wall where these guys are working now. We're going to finish framing those out for the rough openings. So, um, that's where we're at. Not bad, we got a little over, like I said, a little over two, two and a half days from the time we put sills on until the time we're at right now. Uh, we'll get some barren walls in there tomorrow and we'll start putting our ceiling panels on, which are the, uh, the 10 and a quarter inch uh, structural insulated panels with an R40. So um, I'll check back tomorrow. So here we are, Friday, September 19th, uh, about 6.30 at night. Wrapped up for the day, just about finished this gable. 
Uh, we got one more, two, three more little, this one panel here, and then two more little panels to put in. Finish that gable up right there. The other the gable's done. Tomorrow, uh, we spent the day inside building some bearing partitions um, in order to carry the ceiling panels, which are here, that'll get put on tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, we're going to come in, Saturday, finish up the uh, last three panels on this gable here, and uh, start putting these ceiling panels on. We actually put one in down the far end, and uh, I'm going to go inside. I'll take some pictures from inside and show you where we're at. So you can see our bearing partitions are going in here. Uh, that's one of the last little panels that go on the gable. I'll walk through here. That little panel goes up on the end right there. And that gable will be done. That gable is... Uh, these windows are, are special windows going in the center here on the other side of the staging. This gable is 20 foot 9 and 1 half inches uh, from peak to floor. Um, so this is one big room. Uh, this is the living room. There's your front door going in right there. Once again, those panels have to get finished out to the end there. And then these ceiling panels will come across these barren walls and then uh, create flat ceilings in this section over the house over here. Come over here. And then down this section, we have uh, an office going in over here. And then a, originally had two bedrooms in the back side, and the homeowner looked at the space and decided rather than two small bedrooms, you'd want like one big master bedroom. So, uh, on the far end, we have a bedroom going from front to back on the house, 11 foot 3 by 25 foot. So a nice size master bedroom with a good size closet in there. Um, an office space that will be able to be converted to a bedroom. And then we have a bedroom on the other side of the house um, over here. This is actually considered the entertainment area. This uh, wide opening. Whoop, this wide opening you see here is actually a five foot wide uh, pocket French doors. They're going to be opening from the main living room into the entertainment area. Um, we have a few barren walls going in right here, a few petition walls for a bathroom, a little uh, wet bar area, and then there's a bedroom over in the back and the utility room over here. So it's kind of hard to tell uh, up close like this. I can't get a good wide angle view on this, but um, this is a this is our north gable right here, kitchen window, and this is a French door heading out to the back patio on the north side off of the dining room. Alright, so this is the north side of the house. This is the north uh, west corner heading into the north and the central gable section and then the uh, north uh, east corner over there. Uh, we have Three small windows along this side, one good size window, two small ones, uh, the French door and a single door um, heading to the front, the north side of the house, which will create a nice little patio area out here when it's done. Nice secluded kind of uh, shady patio on the north side. Um, so, and there's your west side. You can see we have uh, two windows on the west side of the house. And once the ceiling panels go on top of this, uh, there'll be a gable built on this end. Um, and it'll lay over the top of this roof. So once these gables are done, we're going to roof this first, build this gable, and then uh, do a layover into there, and the same thing from the other end. All right, so we're uh, Sunday, September 21st. Uh, came down the lot here just to see, make sure things are looking good. Um, yesterday we came in, uh, Saturday morning we put three hours in, we finished up this gable. Uh, you can see this one here. We, we put most of the roof panels on, or the ceiling panels on the far end. Um, the two wing sections, though, the east and west sections, are actually going to have flat ceilings in there. And we've rather than use the structural panels for the roof, we decided to use it for the uh, ceiling. Create a very tight box in your uh, conditioned space. And we can ventilate our, our roof above with conventional roofing. Um, this uh, main section across here, running north to south, is a cathedral area. Uh, once again, it'll be conventional framed, and then we'll be using a closed cell spray foam uh, to give us an R42 insulation value up in the cathedral there. Um, cathedrals are, uh, are not a big loss when you're using radiant heat for heating. You're not circulating air through the space. Everything's coming up from the floor. 
uh, it's heating the conditioned space and uh, you're not wasting heat up into that cathedral area so cathedrals are very um, efficient way to build they make a lot of nice use out of the space make things feel a lot larger um, if you're doing it with conventional uh, heating uh, you're circulating air through the space and you're heating that large volume of space overhead um, but with radiant heat it definitely uh, does not really affect the, the energy level of the house.